Legends, welcome back to another episode of where I test every single vehicle that I can find in Forza Horizon 4. The vehicle I'm testing today is a 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle Supersport Barrett Jackson Edition. So, it looks very similar to the 454. I don't know if it maybe is the same as the 454. What I did notice is it's this one is a Class A 757. Now why I'm making such a big deal about it is let me just compare it to you with the the original 454 and you'll understand why I'm a little bit shocked. Um, yeah, have a look. <laughs> this is a Class C 542. This one is a 757. The stock. All right. That's pretty crazy. Come on, right? I think that's this. This one means business clearly. It obviously, yeah. So I'm happy that we're we're gonna test it and really see what it's about. If, if it's really better or not. Hmm. Um, but yeah, cool. Rear wheel drive. Engine sits in the front. Let's see how it stacks up against the rest. I can already see it's a lot better tire compound. Yes. Um, Willwood brakes. Very cool. Um, I think that's really amazing. Um, lots of little details that have, that have changed. Um, I really do like it. I think it's more like the modern, looks more like a modern version of what the what the 454 should be, you know? If you like that kind of thing. But yeah, very cool. Whoa, the engine screams up to 8,000 RPM. That's mad. And it just roars to life wow okay let's see it's definitely better balanced wow yeah no this thing is very quick I mean going from class C to class A is yeah you, you feel it <laughs> what on earth this thing is really quick I did not expect that Man, look at this thing go. All right, let's see how it handles in the dirt. It's it's a little scary because it's not exactly like it's got like a lot of grip or anything. Again, could have put better tires on this thing, <laughs> especially with all of that new power. You know, all of that power. Wow. Yeah, it struggles to turn, so it understeers a little bit in the corners. And then you have to like add your power carefully to flare the back end out. Man, but that V8 just screams. Ah, come on. I was trying to point it in the right direction a little bit earlier, because that's what it needs with this tire compound. Let's see what it'll do. Gear changes are still a little slow. Anyway, let's see the interior view. That's different, like a lot more different. I, I would say I definitely prefer it over the the original design, the old design, vanilla design. Uh, but the problem is I can't really see <laughs> what, what, what I'm doing. Like the speedometer is hidden, like the steering wheel is in the way of the speedometer and the tachometer. So I would say that's really a good design in this case maybe it's just how they place the camera in this vehicle man but yeah it's not easy to control on the dirt it's you feel the transition from tarmac to dirt unlike with the 454 and the 396 so even with all of that power I still prefer the 396 to be quite honest but it is still early in the tests I think, you know, quite honestly in the drag race this thing's going to destroy both of those previous Chevelles we tested. Um, yeah, so, unruly. It's difficult to control. Um, yeah, I think it's made more for longer, you know, less technical courses if that makes sense but yeah cool so 
two minutes, 58.4. Yeah, I don't think it's that good, you know, for class A. Um, yeah, so it's a little disappointing. Man, bummer. Could have been so much better. Um, Alrighty, let's see how it does on the cross country event. I, I don't think it's going to be that good, <laughs> to be quite honest, but I've been wrong many times before. Me personally, I wouldn't take those mags with this vehicle, um, or the rims. I'd make it smaller. Or use the original mags or something like that. That's just me personally, because the, those mags they 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 draw too much attention from the rest of the vehicle. Right, let's see how it does. A stiffer suspension. It's actually surprisingly doing all right. Since the suspension is a bit stiff, I would say, oh no, missed the checkpoint. Look at that. Yep. So there you have it <laughs> already. Nope. Not cross country machine, in my opinion. But I'll continue it. I'll be a good sport and just continue the race. Let's see if we can catch up. It does slide around quite a bit. I thought it was okay in initially, but then now I can feel as soon as you slightly turn, once that back end kicks out, you're struggling to get it back. You see, it's like, okay, now, full power. Yeah, now we're making progress, you see, as long as it doesn't slide around. Oh, and there's the loss of traction. Slows right down when it hits the ground. Yeah, it's so difficult to control. It's pointed in the right direction, understeers, and then ah, okay, cool. Points it in the right direction, but you have to slow down so much for it to behave. Man, but it is quick. When it gets going, it's quick. Just keeping the engine speed a little bit lower so that I can get better traction on the tires. Whoa, that's the suspension doing that. There we go. Ooh. I think it has a little bit of a quick rebound rate. So yeah, in my opinion, I definitely prefer still the 396. I mean, I'm sure that if you you practice with this vehicle, you know, you might be able to really master it, especially with the steering wheel and pedal set. But yeah, it is what it is. I think that shows you. Yeah, 3:30. No, not for class A. No, no, no. already have one of those, thank you. Alright, so let's see how it does on the drag strip. I'm thinking here is where it will be much better. 
um, long rows with less, you know, sudden corners, I think, is more its vibe. So, let's see. Let's see it. Now we're picking up speed. Yeah. Hey, it's got six gears. Very cool. And it still picks up speed. Nice. Wow, yeah, this thing is quick. 310. Yeah. How many gears does it have? Yeah, just six. Good. Yeah, there's two more than the stock. So that works really well. It struggles a bit to get off of the line, so I think put better tires on it. You know, change the... Yeah, the lower the tire pressure should be a very good drag vehicle so it's one minute one second um, yeah it's pretty quick you know for a class A vehicle I think it um, yeah challenges those ZL ones I believe that we tested earlier so yeah I think that's pretty good um, very very cool alright so will it drift yes I think so <laughs> That's a drift. Let's go for third gear here and see if it'll hold the drift. Yeah, a little bit difficult to control. I think that's good. Let's go for second gear here. Much better. Much better. Yeah. That's a lot better. Yeah, so straight off the bat, it's configured really well for drifting. It does need a little bit of work. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, so that's at least a plus point for this vehicle. Very good. Very good for drifting. Alrighty. So cool, there you have it guys. This has been the 1970 Chevrolet Cheval Super Sport Barrett Jackson Edition. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to support the channel. Comment your thoughts below on this vehicle. And yeah, is is this one your favorite? You know, it does it's not right or wrong or anything. I'm just wanna make conversation. Um, do you prefer this Chevelle over the rest and why? Um, and uh, yeah, I personally prefer the 396, like I've been saying the past few videos. Um, but yeah, that's just me. So yeah, I'd love to hear your opinion. Cool. As always, all the best. See you in the next one. Peace.